I've now completed the trestle that goes from the fixed track here on these uh, splines and connecting to the pin connector bridge. All of this is done and uh, the uh, connection at this point here is, is all level. The pin connector bridge of course was done in an earlier video so you can see its construction. And down here uh, it's getting level. I've got the deck out here both ends with there's a barrel on top for water. I still got to build a handrail around here and it continues across into the oncoming uh, track at that end. The retaining bents are in here and all the all the bents are now in place. The bents need some support until the scenery is in and uh, what I've done here is put a um, another timber piece of scrap on the underside of the pilings uh, essentially to hold this and give it some support and I've just put in some 12 by 12 pieces of wood at each end underneath each one of the bends that will temporarily support this until I actually get the scenery in and of course the scenery will will come up on an angle like that covering these upper timbers here cross and then back up here and then cuts across uh, on the side of the the retaining wall on this end the grade will be much lower than at the opposite end and it'll go up on a shallow area and then, a, a ret and then an embankment up in here with some rock and so on that this will be sitting on rock and then it'll cut up on the side in here so you'll see that I've put in a couple of supports, same as the opposite side, just to carry the weight of this. Whereas these ones here are all ready in place on this piece of plywood here. That that so these have been sized exactly to fit here because this will be a relatively flat grade going across here, where it spills away into the river in the background and comes forward into a fairly flat area in here, uh, where I'll have uh, the water tank uh, will be positioned in this general area here for some foreground detail and so I do need a flat area in here. The plaster abutment is uh, now finished. Uh, it came in two pieces. One is a casting like this and then there's a capstone on top. So I've pre-finished these using some combi combination of alcohol and shoe dye and also some diluted floquil stains and then I drop some dark um, stain just in the joints so they'll capillarate down through here, just highlighting very gently the, the, the motor joints. And when I was setting this whole thing in place, um, then what I've done is I've put shims underneath here. That's how I've adjusted this so that this was level up above. Um, and then the, uh, the steel shoes that uh, the bridge sits on uh, that you saw earlier where they were uh, spray painted in rust colors they're sitting in on the top uh, of the abutment and the shoes from the trestle or the bridge are sitting on it now. Only a small perimeter area that I mentioned before of these shoes, uh, these shoe plates will actually show but it, it's a little easier to pre-finish those ahead of time and you can see them on op opposite sides and uh, the ones on one end actually sit on roller bearings because the trestle does have some extension with heat as a, in the daytime and as it's used. So one end of the trestle is always fixed, one end is always sitting on roller bearings. This will now show you the finished scene ready for scenery, water, waterfalls. Uh, the trestle is at each end of the pin connected bridge. Uh, you can see the bents roughly where the water tank will be going and if you look at the top on the track I've started to build the tunnel for the future um, exit from the mountain that, that uh, uh, will be coming around from the uh, from the right and behind the stamp mill. You can see the timber tunnel as it uh, will ex exit from the mountain I built all the, the framework in, uh, to carry all the, the roof structure. There's a roof on top. You can see the big heavy timbers on the inside because you will have a view in here. 
and it, go, it goes back away so that every angle from this side will be able to see an interior that's finished including a roof deck up on top. Now I've only done on the side here but not down here because the mountain surface will come down here with rubble on top and it'll actually come down the side here and into this um, retaining wall here. So there's an exposed area here that needs to be left open. The remainder of it down there uh, is, is wide open and basically just carrying the roof uh, that carries the, the structure behind it. Hello. Thank you for visiting my YouTube videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you've got some benefit, some ideas from them, and that you'll use them. I'll be posting these recent videos back up on my website with the, the earlier ones that we did. You can find those on my website at www.drgwrr.com. That's drgwrr.com. That stands for Denver Rear Grand Western Railroad makes it quite easy to remember. I want to thank John Pilecki for an amazing structure for his pin connected bridge. It's an outstanding model. I wanted to find something that was open, lacy, so that you could look through the bridge to the scene behind. I've also included the construction techniques that I've used for the two trestles at each end. I hope you've enjoyed those. I'll be posting some more videos in the, in the near future on some other areas of my modeling. Again, thank you very much for joining me on this tour of videos.